Welcome to Old Dominion Umpire Association and a quick video explanation of some of the uniforms and equipment that you're going to need to umpire. This presentation will be made available online so that you can click on the links from the presentation. The uniform and equipment requirements that you're going to need to umpire are laid out in the Old Dominion Umpire Association Umpire Development Program Handbook. You're going to need charcoal grade pants. We would recommend both base pants and plate pants. You can get combination pants. They um, allow you to spend a little bit less money, but they don't fit as nicely for either position. Base shoes and plate shoes. Plate shoes have a metatarsal protective cover. You're going to need some protective gear, shin guards, chest protector, a mask, obviously a cup, ball bags, plate brushes, indicators, line of card holders, stopwatches, those kind of things. The only kind of mandatory item that we have is an Old Dominion Umpire Association hat. That is the only piece of equipment or uniform that has a logo on it that's required to be worn for all ODUA assignments. Again, an ODUA hat must be worn for all ODUA assignments. Those hats are a available at these two links. Uh, you can click on either one of those. It should take you there directly. Those are the only two places that you can order them. The official call generally comes to our early spring day of training, normally held in early February, and they will be there this year, 2020. Other umpire equipment uniforms are available at lots of different places. Here's just a couple, ump attire, Honig's, and even Amazon at times carries umpire equipment. Here you see some of the uniform equipments. First, the Old Dominion Umpire Association hat. This hat should be black and should have the logo on it as shown right here. Below that are the charcoal gray pants. We do not wear heather gray. That's a much lighter gray. It must be charcoal gray pants. Here's two jackets. Um, as long as your jacket is black, generally we don't necessarily care if it's all back black or if it has stripes. Ideally, we would want partners to match, but if it's cold enough to wear a jacket, we're not going to fuss about having two different jackets. The shirts we wear typically are black and the light blue or powder blue. For high school assignments, high school varsity assignments, a Virginia High School League VHSL shirt is required. Um, those we have, you can order them as well through the official call. For non-varsity high school games, you do not wear the VHSL shirt. You would wear a shirt such as this. Ball bags I'll touch on a little bit later, but those ball bags should also be black. Everything we wear is black or light blue with black trim as shown here. Here now we're gonna look at some chest protectors. As you can see, they vary in price uh, greatly. They also vary in style somewhat. I would recommend that for a beginner umpire, don't buy something that is crazy expensive. There's lots of less expensive alternatives and in a little while here, I'll show you some package deals that are available through the official call.com. Shin guards, much like, much like chest protectors, vary in cost, design, and feel. Again, I would recommend buying something on the low end for beginner umpires and use it and see what you like. And then in a couple of years, if you want to stick around and decide this is for you, you can always upgrade and find something that's a little bit more comfortable, uh, able to withstand a little bit more shock, uh, or just feel better. There are a ton of different kinds of masks or helmets. Either one is okay. Most guys I think you'll find wear masks. There are those few that wear the bucket hat, the hockey style mask, the hockey style helmet. Um, those are obviously a little bit more expensive. They also vary. You can get them a little bit less expensive than this, um, but they do provide much more protection from bats being slung or flung um, and that kind of thing. But if you're standing in a proper plate stance and you wear your mask properly, 
you should not have any issues whatsoever with balls, foul, foul, foul tips, foul balls that come straight back. Here's a much better view of the two different kinds of shoes that we talk about. The left here is plate shoes. As you can see, this portion on the top is the metatarsal protective cover. These also have a steel toe. You do not want to take a foul tip or a foul ball directly back into, uh, in, into your foot. That hurts a lot. You can break bones, and that'll knock you out of the game for quite a while. Uh, on the right-hand side is an example of base shoes. These are mid-cuts. You can get low cuts that are kind of like tennis shoes. These are a little bit higher um, if you like the a little bit more ankle support. But again, these also come in various different brands and price points. Three and two is a common uh, beginner shoe. I know they are available through both Official Call and Ump Attire. New Balance makes... Plate shoes and other than three and two, I believe New Balance is the only company that now makes plate shoes for umpires. Here's a few other items that you're going to need. Uh, top left there is a plate brush. Only guy that carries a brush is the plate umpire. Base guys don't carry brushes. We don't clean off the mound. We don't clean off bases. It's not our job. Uh, but you'll need a plate brush when you're on the plate. Below that is a lineup card holder. That's obviously optional. Um, would recommend it, especially if you sweat a lot. Uh, it also gives you something a little bit easier to write on when your uh, lineups are in the lineup card holder. There's various styles of those as well. Some hard covers, all that kind of neat stuff. Uh, indicators there on the top. Obviously, there's many different kinds. There's steel ones. There's plastic ones. They range from a couple of bucks to 10 or 15 bucks. Here's uh, several different kinds of ball bags. Again, ball bags should be black. Those are the only color ball bags that we wear, and you should wear two, one on each side. I'm going to shrink this screen a little bit. It was falling off. Um, here's a couple examples of equipment packages that you can get through the official call. Uh, they have a couple of different packages, starter packages. You can get these items. I'm going to blow this up a little bit. You can get these items um, as a package deal. It's a little bit more cost effective, but you don't get a whole lot of selection. Uh, you get the basic items. Um, there is a MAC, Northern Virginia Baseball Empires Association. They happen to be our sister organization from up in Northern Virginia. They have a special package that, um, as you can see right there, the only difference with theirs is they wear blue shirts. So if you want to order the MAC NVBUA package, I would recommend calling the official call, tell them what you want, and ask them to switch out the navy blue shirt for the black shirt. They should do that at no cost. Um, it might be a dollar or two, something like that. Can't make any promises. But I would recommend for beginner umpires, definitely check out this package. This is a really good package. It gives you what you need. It gives you some what you don't. It also leaves out what you don't need. I would much rec prefer that you um, order your cup and supporter based on what you like, what you prefer, what probably fits you. You probably know that better than what they do. Um, the package on the top, you get a very standard jock and cup. Um, that may work for you, and if it does, great. If it's not really your cup of tea, then go buy that yourself. Uh, not as a part of the package. Again, here are the links that I mentioned. There's lots of others. If you just go into Google and type umpire equipment, uh, there's lots of different places all across the country. These just happen to be somewhat fairly local and reliable that, that many of us use. Thanks for clicking on this video and letting us walk you through some uniform and equipment requirements. Hope you find this helpful. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. And for any further explanations, you can always check out the Umpire uh, UDP handbook or drop us a line. Thanks for watching.